Cucumber Drill, huh? Okay, um, I, 
Yeah. Have you guys heard of that thing um, when, when people identify as sapiosexual? Yes. Yeah, okay. But if you haven't, it's people that they say they're sexually attracted to a person's intelligence. Yeah, which is kind of like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're dating an uggo. <laughs> no, you're bookish. <laughs> um, I unfortunately have the exact opposite of that. I I am attracted to a big dumb piece of shit. <laughs> and then we don't have a word for it yet, unfortunately. We don't have a flag. <laughs> but I'm making one. It's like a piece of notebook for someone. I, I am attracted to a man that could not escape a Chinese finger trap. Like, that's the like, level. I want a man that can't read. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's because they fuck good. I won't bear the lead. Um, <laughs> they fuck really good. It's been scientifically proven. Um, I'm the scientist. I proved it. Um, <laughs> I'm out in the field doing research every day. <laughs> And they fuck really good. And in your head, if you're thinking, it's actually fucks well, then I would say, no, thank you to you. <laughs> yes, that was a test, and you failed. <laughs> but you're not used to failing tests, are you, fucking nerd? <laughs> you got that PhD dick. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> you got that well actually. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want Lenny for both my sister. It's from the side of the Well, um, I turned 30 recently. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it was, I think it was like 21 months ago. Um, <laughs> 31. <laughs> Everyone makes such a big deal about turning 30, though. I, I didn't know too much of a change, other than like how smug I am towards people in their 20s now. You know, now that I'm like wizard. <laughs> but like, I'll be like, hey, I think your shirt's on backwards. I'll be like, talk to me when you're 30. <laughs> I like them, they're pretty bad. <laughs> My roommates are like, hey, we keep finding your dildos in the dishwasher. <laughs> like 28 match. <laughs> How are you washing your dildos? <laughs> By hand, work smarter, not harder. Done a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if that voice is, but um, I must have learned it when I turned 30. No, okay. Um, okay, this next joke is for the fellas. I know you guys haven't had too many jokes all to yourself yet, huh? So this one's for the boys. Yeah, this one's just for you. Okay, fellas. fellas. You know that little thing that you do? It's very subtle. Um, it's fairly noticeable, and it's when you're hoping to have a enjoy a blowjob. Um, and there's this thing that you'll do uh, where you um, squish our heads down into your <laughs> crotch. <laughs> uh, stop doing that. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, you use your words. <laughs> I would rather say, oh, please, please, please. Whatever. Oh my god. I was making out with a guy in the ocean. And he did that to me. I was like, sir, I could drown. Like, <laughs> squishing me into the sea. <laughs> I did blow him, but I, I was on vacation. So whatever you would blow him to. That's my year of yes. Um, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> my 10 days of yes. Um, okay. Good. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. I, um. Okay, have you heard about how if you have a DUI, like you can't go to Canada because it's a felony there? This is a separate joke. I, <laughs> I mean, moving forward, but you guys know about that, right? If you have a DUI, you can't go to Canada. Bullshit. Oh, could be important. Do you want to answer? Oh, no. Is it Canada? Control? No. Oh, yes, Canada. Yes, Canada. Yes. Like, oh, hello. That's a perfect Canadian accent. No, okay. Um, okay, anyway, so you have a DUI, can't go to Canada, or so I thought. I was talking to my friend, and he said he has a DUI. Um, cool friend. Uh, and <laughs> and he, I've almost got them, so it's just, it's like less of a felony, more of a winter sport. But um, <laughs> I'm not I'm defending it, but it is true. Okay, he, he went to Canada. He he had a DUI. He said when he was going, he was getting on the plane. They said, "Do you have a DUI?" He said, "Nope." <laughs> they just let him on. But what what else can be smuggling to Canada? As it, you know, <laughs> if they're like, "Hey, do you have a big bomb in your bag?" And you're like. 
Now, do you bring the ramen? He goes, I knew Canadians were friendly, but I didn't think their government was operating on the honor system. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to say one more hand thing, and then I will leave. Um, and then I'm going to run away. Um, are you guys afraid of ghosts? No? no. Yes? No, we're not. That's fine. Me either. I've always been a skeptic. Uh, but also, my thing is, like, I don't have that much time to be afraid of the men that are dead, when the men that are alive are just wreaking havoc. <laughs> and I, like, I got bigger fish to fry <laughs> at this point. If I was in an old house and someone was like, a man hung himself in the attic, I would be like, good. <laughs> that, that's one of those men that's going to ask me where his hug at. <laughs> I sleep so soundly. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much, everybody.